Uh, our next guest is a celebrated, it says here, TV presenter, world class magician, and talented comedian. Did you write this oh, yourself? You know what? No, no, but keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> but these days, Sue Mahern is better known as Ant and Dex's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Who did write that? Get him to the floor now! <laughs> well, he's not running errands for Ant and Dex. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's, I'm leaving. <laughs> He's busy being a very successful children's author. He joins us now to tell us about publishing his second instalment of uh, Max Magic. Um, and I tell you what, really successful. Have you just topped the Amazon charts? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, as I walked on, they told me and I was like, oh my goodness, uh, how does that I'm mean? over the moon. Do you know something? I'm over the moon. I know I j jest and joke about a lot of stuff, mm. but... When we first started writing these books, myself and Tom Easton, because I'd never written a book before, so I, had, I needed some help with it, and he's been amazing. And the idea was that it was a story about myself growing up and how magic helped me to gain confidence. There was a bullying issue, which we, we cover in the first book. Um, and magic, honestly, really did help. Even when we were doing Saturday mornings, yeah. we'd always be doing tricks and that sort of stuff. Then in book two, uh, it's just come out, and, yeah, um, over the moon, it's going down well already. There's always a message in every book. In the first book, it was anything is possible. And in the second book, the one that's just coming out now, I've actually released tomorrow, it's called Never Give, it Up, Never Give Up. And I do stick by that. And it's Max, and he's, he enters a magic competition with his magic tricks. I entered a talent competition on ITV. It was like the predecessor before Britain's Got Talent. It's mm -hmm. called the BB Talent Show. Um, I didn't win it. Charlotte Church won. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'm not bitter, but the reality is Max enters and there's three judges, like you see on Britain's Got Talent, and there's a beautiful host who is... You only found this out this morning, I didn't did you? I did only find this. I'm reading the brief and yeah. I was like, oh, my God, it really it made my heart sing. I, I know, and you're, she sent me a message this morning and uh, the presenter is called Willow Hollaby, <laughs> right? Uh, she's the most beautiful presenter on the TV and everyone's yeah. nervous about meeting her and it's just a really good story. Have and we got a picture of her? Yes, you do, yes. Let's have a oh, look. Do we? There, there you are. are. <laughs> Begonia, by the way, so nice. who, who draws all these pictures in Spain. Look, there you go. <laughs> Same length head. I know. Perfect. Well done. Well done. Um, thank but you. honestly, it's a really important... All these books, for me, are really important. And thankfully, mm. parents are loving them. And we mentioned it uh, when I came on last. It's dyslexic-friendly, yeah. which is also incredibly important. So, overall, the books are going down really well. And also, what's brilliant about it is that you're introducing magic to that young age group because there's this QR code in it. Yeah. So, it's a really... And not only are you reading this story, but you can really interact with it as well. How does that work? So at the, at the back of the book, there's a QR code that literally, if you haven't got, if the kids haven't got phones, they can use their parents' phones or their siblings' phones. They scan the code and it cuts to me in my own home and I show you how to do loads of different tricks. They start off very easy, they get harder and harder as you go, but I've always said magic is hard to learn by simply reading the instructions. Mm. Yeah. It's a very visual form of art. So if you see someone perform it, I give you top tips on how you can do the tricks yourself. And like you said, a new generation. Yeah. When you think about it, there's been no lady female magician that's ever become a star of magic in the UK. That's mad, isn't it? It is. And so, girls love this book. I, I know. I mean, the first one, it did really well with girls. Yeah, it did, because also the characters in there are brilliant. There's Sophie, there's Daisy Dares, there's Stretch, who are all Max's best friends. He's got his dog. Lucky who he can talk to, but nobody else can. Um, that is lucky. So it seems that it is very lucky. But you know when you just go, because you see so many people that go, yeah, I've written a book. And I'm sure they all had the same feelings as me, but I really wanted to make sure these were very, very important, because otherwise there's just no point. But you've had parents coming up to you and saying, this has got my child back into reading. Yeah. I've heard people saying, you know, we love reading this at night time, bedtime. Yeah. That sort of stuff. I mean, that's real affirmation, isn't it? Honestly, and on social media, we had a couple of parents that said, it's the first book my kids ever read. And also, I think it's just something, it's a new avenue to go down, but not an avenue to go down for the sake of doing it. You know, I'm so lucky. I do genuinely believe I'm very lucky with Catchphrase and Deal or No Deal, which is coming out, Saturday Night Takeaway. We'll get to that, don't worry, we'll way. get to that. Let's just point that out. Those two little boys <laughs> who are here, but I play them like the bongos, they're behind <laughs> the couch now. Um, but, yeah, I just feel really lucky. And the book is now just a massive bonus. So. Um, you, will you show us a little bit of magic? Do you want to see a bit of magic? Yes, of yeah, course. Yeah, of course. Okay. Have you in, well, in the back of the book, I'll show you how to read people's minds. So, we haven't set anything up. There'll be no point in that. You promise everybody. I promise, promise, oh, no, promise, promise. promise. Who should we do it on? Phil or you? Whoever you want to. You choose between you. You decide. Do you want Phil, if you like? Phil. Phil, name any word in the English language. Any word. Dictionary. Dictionary. Now, the reality is, you could have said any word... Any word any at all. all. Now, the reality is, in my book, there are so many different words, there are so many different pictures. Could we get a close-up on the illustrations here? Just there's so many different words, you see so many different pictures as well. Um, Phil, just shout stop whenever you're ready. Stop. OK. 
Um, hopefully, there should be some illustrations on there. Look at the biggest picture. Have you right. done that? Yeah. OK, biggest picture you can see. Yeah. Don't tell me what you saw. Um, I've had this box that's been here that none of you knew about. Now, in your mind, you should have uh, the word. A Name word, word and a you're picture. Of. Yeah. The word that I'm thinking of. The word that you're that from I the picture. Out... Not, not from oh, that the... one? Yep. Right, it's ball. Just any so sort of soccer ball? ball? A soccer ball. A oh, voila. That's trick number one. Trick number two is before I came to the studio, I wrote a word on this piece of paper. Take it. You can see there's no way we set anything up. No, really, honestly. Read it out loud. How is that? How is that? <laughs> how is that possible? <laughs> you said dictionary? Dictionary. You're going to be burned at the stake. I know. How is that possible? How is it possible? No, that is really, 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 really weird. I know. But the thing is, you could have said any word, and like I said, these are the sort of things. Look Do at it again. Faces there. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again, monkey boy. <laughs> no, but the reality is, is that look at your faces there, and I'm sure people at home are going, yeah. "How did he do it? How did the ball appear? How did you know the word dictionary?" And this is why, as I said, at the back of the book, there's a QR code, and you can learn all these sort of tricks. They're not that hard to do. When we worked together, why didn't you do tricks like that on me instead did... of putting cling film across the toilet in my dressing room? Because that was funny. <laughs> well, it was <laughs> not. <laughs> it went a bit wrong nearly with Rachel Stevens there, didn't it? Yes, yeah, so what happened was, so Holly and I shared a dressing room on Saturday morning kids TV and sometimes we'd get, one of us would get gunged every week. We had Rachel Stevens on the show and the Saturday fell on April Fool's Day. And in the shower, you could unscrew the shower head. So I unscrewed it knowing that Holly was going to get gunge that, that Saturday. So nice. And I That's filled nice it with, with coffee granules and screwed so it back why on. Did you do that? It's a great joke though, because once somebody goes in the shower and they get covered in coffee, it takes a couple of days to get rid of that smell. <laughs> But the I only really smell a baked beans <laughs> from doing Saturday mornings. Um, but they were great times. Will they ever come back, I wonder? But Rachel Stevens nearly got in that she shower. She because she was, she was caked in the face. We, we played a game called Cakey Skate. We had to catapult these cakes on the wall. And she didn't have a shower in her dressing room. Holly went, oh, don't worry. As nice as she always is, you use our one. Go, go to use the shower. She went in, it was like slow motion. I just remember seeing <laughs> Rachel wide. Stevens walking out. What's wrong with you? No! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that one definitely backfired. Yeah. Um, deal or no deal, you oh. must be so excited. When I heard, I was like, I can't think of anyone better to bring that back than you. Well, it's because it's 22 members of the public. I, Noel Evans had 10 years of doing the show mm. and he's been so he's been so welcoming and so encouraging to take it over, which I was amazed at, because I don't know Noel Evans. I, first time I ever met him, I was on record at Butlins. Uh. And until then, I've never met him since. Uh. But um, So he sent a note saying, listen, good luck, hope it goes well. We did two pilots, they went incredibly well. But yeah, 22 members of the public, um, they all stay in a hotel, like the original show. I'm, gonna st I'm not going to stay with them, but I'm going to obviously meet them <laughs> every evening, because I need to get to know them. Yeah. I need to get to know their little nuggets and all their little secrets. And, uh, and have you, um, you practised taking the... You know, taking yeah, the I've got, I, I should have bought the box in. They've given me a box where I can practice pulling the tab because obviously that moment yeah. when you do that, yeah, yeah. let's use this for an example. When you do that moment of going, boom, yeah. 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 If you get that wrong and start fumbling, yeah, you can't do that. Gonna mess yeah. that up. And are you going to know who the uh, the banker is? Well, they're, they're, because they're, Noel didn't know, did he? Until no, much so later. towards the end. So he found out towards the end. It was a guy called Glenn Hugill who used to be in Coronation Street, mm -hmm. but um, Noel I think found out about series six of the ten. And then they became mates. Mm. But I think the problem is, is that I don't know whether I want to know or not. Don't know. Well, I don't. Do you know think why? Because so. in like, in adult life, there's not many surprises or things that you don't know about. So I yeah. just wouldn't. And also, I don't know whether it's going to be a, a male or female. Mm. So who knows? We've both been asked to do it. Have you? See, can yeah. You yeah. <laughs> but it's just when in the individual. Can you imagine if I answer it? It's <laughs> you. <laughs> you. But the idea is when the banker used to laugh at them when they lost. You know, a quarter of a million pound or a hundred grand. That's tough. No one never really was... Um, I never saw any sort... He never got teary. Well, I can get very emotional very quick. Mm. So the reality is, I don't know what's going to happen if somebody says, you know, I need this money for this or for that, and then they lose. No. I think, genuinely, I think I might go. Can't you just go magic them up a bit? <laughs> Do a bit of magic and a bit of just here go. <laughs> but that's the other thing. The sit they are so strict. You're not allowed near the boxes. You're not allowed to go in the room. You're not allowed... Which is fair enough, because... You know, if anybody tampers it's with anything, big money. Game over. Yeah. It's, it's, money. Big it's called cheating. It's called cheating. And that will never be allowed. <laughs> Not on my watch. And uh, and I've got to say, um, there was a, there have been so many fabulous 
memes and pictures that have gone around <laughs> at the, at the uh, coronation time. Um, oh, but it was, uh, but it was the gold, gold, it's the gold jacket, <laughs> which, uh, which just, uh, this made yeah, me like... laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what game were you playing there? Well, somebody said, who wears it better? <laughs> well, he's the king. <laughs> you know, so, but yeah, that made me laugh. And I saw it, I had to retweet it. I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, but it's amazing yeah. how quick people are. I know. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. an amazing day that was. Yeah, yeah. Super. Wasn't it incredible? Very Best special. day. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Um, it is so lovely to see <laughs> yeah, you. It is. Always Thank lovely you. to see you. That is again, and it was the last time you were on Mind Boggling. I Thank just you. don't have a clue. Uh, but however, uh, second in the series of Magic Max, and that is the book we're talking about, and that like is that out tomorrow. Yeah, pre-order now if you want. Brilliant. Thank Thanks. you very much. So everyone. lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.